All right. Hey, everybody. It's Wes from Perfect Circuit. Back again today with some more quick tips for you. This is actually going to be part one of a series we're going to call VCAs are not just for volume. If you've entered the modular ecosystem in the last five to 10 years, then you've probably heard the old saying, you can never have too many VCAs. And while that little adage proves true time and time again, it deserves a little bit of further explanation, in my opinion, uh, because some of the most unique and powerful functionality of using a modular synthesizer stems from creative and fun usage of VCAs. So let's take a look today at a really fun way to use a VCA that has nothing to do with modulating volume. So we're not going to throw you into the deep end right away here with some VCA tricks, but let's try something super basic but still super powerful and let's modulate some modulation. So let's take this sine wave output of our Dixie in LFO mode and go into our, the input of our VCA here. Now we're monitoring the mix out into the data here and nothing's coming out because our VCA is all the way down. So let's turn that up here and you can see the sine wave come to life on our screen here. And if we want to hear that modulation, we can just grab this output right here and we'll go into our filter. So you can see that we can control the amplitude of the modulation with the VCA, which is quite cool. What we can also do is grab another signal, like say maybe a self cycling channel of maths here and we can turn that up too and then we can actually mix those two signals together So you can see right away there we get a much cooler modulation, a much cooler signal by mixing those two together and letting them play off of each other. And then we also have a deeper control of how much is coming through of each signal with the level of our VCA. So that's pretty nifty right away. Now let's take a look at a more complicated patch that uses this same sort of idea. Okay, so now what I've done here is prepare a little demonstration that kind of builds upon the ideas of using a VCA to modulate your modulation. What I've done here is tempo synced our Dixie LFO to Pam's workout and then I started modulating the rate of the LFO with the muck slicer here and you'll also notice that the muck slicer first four gates are going to our tangle quartet here so as you can see it kind of one two three four as this guy goes one two three four so what it's kind of doing here is um kind of We've made this patch into a little bit of a facsimile of a switch, a sequential switch to be exact. It's sequentially letting the first voltage through, then the second, third, and fourth. And you might be saying, well, okay, what does that do? Well, it looks like this down here, and it sounds like this. And so you can see we've taken a bunch of different cool modulations all here in green, mostly from the Dixie and one from the Maths here. And we're kind of just stepping through the different speeds and shapes of our LFO, creating a much more 
animated sequence that's got a lot of interest to it. And it also allows us to modulate a bunch more things easily and, you know, perform our patch a little bit. It's cool to listen to bass lines, I guess, but uh, let's patch up a kick here and see how this really works. All right, so I hope these two patches have given you some ideas on new and creative and fun ways to go use your VCAs. So we will be back in the near future with even more patch tricks and things to do with VCAs that aren't modulating volume. So make sure to check back soon. Don't forget to like, subscribe, call your parents, tell them that they're cool unless they're not, and have a great rest of your day.